Hey guys, um, this is my first update in a while. It's now February of 2012. Um, just thought I'd give you a wee update on the, the lathe. Now, I've not been doing a whole lot to it over the winter, but uh, you can see it's basically all together now. Uh, I've got a little work to do yet, but um, she's mostly, you no, know, she's newly there. Um, more recently, I did the um, counter shaft and the counter shaft uh, pulleys. Uh, put them back on and back together. I'm still waiting for a, a thrust thrust washer for in here, and another one for in there, I believe. One of the things that delayed me was getting hard rubber bushes for a for this step and this step. Now I got new ones from Myford, they eventually um, dug them out uh, from wherever they had them stored. If you just give me a second I'll I'll get them for you. Um, ah here they are, they're up here. I've got that many boxes of bits now. I don't know where if I'm coming or going half the time. I'll just set it over here then. Right. So here's the the bushes. Um, in the manual, they were referred to as hard rubber. Now, as you can see, these are well quite flexible and soft. Uh, which is just as well because they don't actually fit um, in so much as they don't just slip on you have to sort of put them on and then stretch them over this step so they're, they're quite tight to um, put on but you know not too difficult however after they're fitted the the headstock pulley guard which then fits over them it's just too tight you know the the they interfere with the fit uh, so much that it's detrimental to the, the use of the actual lathe you know if you wanted to open the guard for whatever reason to change the, the pulley over uh, for instance then it's a, it's a struggle to get the, the, the guard open with, with these uh, rubber bushes installed. So I've just decided to leave them off and if you can see here there's these sort of like large fiber washers. These are possibly what came um, on the lathe originally. Um, but was certainly fitted to the lathe when I purchased it and uh, with that in place there is virtually no um, horizontal uh, movement on the the guard. There is a little bit of um, movement uh, in and out however so it, m it may rattle once the lathe is running I will I'll, I'll need to wait and see what happens there so that's that's together and it's coming along. As you can see I've got a, a new uh, V belt on that one and this is another new V belt as well just waiting to be fitted. Um, here I've, I've not done anything to this since possibly the last time I posted a video. Um, some of the, I've been just painting up bits really. I've got the, the flywheel mounted at the moment. It's been undercoated and, and uh, then enamelled. And on a side note, a uh, chap on um, the uh, lathe, Myford Lathe's Yahoo group was uh, inquiring about these uh, oilers. oilers sorry. They're just, well, you know, um, you can see it there really, the size of them. They're slightly larger than a thimble. Um, one moment, I'll grab a rule. Let's see if it's gone. about 20 mil diameter roughly right and um, 
the hole here is where they're filled from. The cap doesn't actually. Oh, that's not bolted in at the moment. The cap doesn't actually come off. It's kind of uh, nipped up all the way round, so it doesn't can't be removed. But it does have a a knurled surface. It's not actually knurled, but like uh, lines in it. So you can close it or open it. Um, it's made by Rotherham's in Coventry, and it's got the, the the number L2 stamped in it. I don't know if they're still around or not, but it looks to be made of stainless. And uh, yeah, that's what was on the lathe when I when I when I got it. But there, as I mentioned on the uh, Yahoo group, there's no wick inside it that I can see. It just seems to have a, um, a smaller inner diameter coming down and that that feeds onto the, the bearing surface. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, I finally got my um, a front... Well, we'll call it a bracket for the moment. So that's now been uh, painted up and assembled. I've uh, got it undercoated and then a black enamel on it. So I don't know how that will wear. I just used an, a little, you know, those little wee pots of enamel from the model makers work um, shop. So um, what were they? Yeah, hum, humbro. Just a little black pot of that. This really doesn't focus too good. This uh, camera. Anyway, um, so I don't know how how wear resistant that will be, but it'll do for the meantime. It looks quite good. So um, I've got it together now. It um, seems to be running quite smoothly. A little bit stiff, maybe. I've got the the gib screws. Um, uh, tightened up maybe just a little bit too much, but no, I, I'd say there's good feel there, you know. Um, you don't want it too slack because then you'll get no feel from it. Um, and on on testing it, you know, just at the moment without the lathe running, she seems the action seems to be quite smooth and steady. There is a little bit of backlash in it, not a lot. Um, I've I've fitted. Uh, the, the proper fiber washers inside it um, so yeah I, I'm, I'm quite happy with that let me see that's about the backlash there you know not not a whole lot it's, it's, it's quite satisfactory I'm quite happy with it um, you may notice I've uh, put the original top slide back on with all the dents and it's been painted up now also I've, um, I don't know if you remember but the the pin was a little bit bent and I've made an attempt at straightening that and if you watch carefully now here yeah, this gap here there is um, oh, it's quite difficult to do it with my left hand hold on a moment plus swap hands She's not perfect, but she's not bad. You know, there's there is still a, a very small movement here indicating that the shaft that still is a uh, twisted or bent in some manner, but um, it's, oh, it's very slight. You know, I, I can make do with that. Like. Um, the action possibly a little bit stiff and also possibly just a little bit um, there's a little bit of variance in it in so much it goes stiff and then a little bit slack and then stiff and a little bit slack but yeah you know I can make do with that um, and if it proves in it's just to be unsatisfactory then I've, I can always replace it with the 
alternative I have here which has had very little use and is next to perfect um, so yeah you know um, yeah so um, what other bits have I been waiting for oh yeah I, I finally got a uh, this stud here at the back um, which is part of the um, the bracket which supports the counter shaft pulley guard uh, the one that came with the lathe was badly twisted and basically it, it would be very difficult because it was to straighten because it was bent right down where it joins the the back plate here um, so to straighten it as the stud is quite short at this end would be quite difficult without actually damaging the threads so I just got a new one um, <coughs> I ordered also uh, another stud from Myford for the gear change cover um, for in that whole layer which fits on the front it's just a short stud uh, and then it goes through this hole on that plate and then what is supposed to happen then is a, a thumb nut is meant with a knurl on it is meant to tighten up on it however due to this slight twist on that plate um, so it's difficult to see with the camera but I think you can see it there now when it's fitted to the lathe there is a she has been bent or dropped or something in the past and it's bent that plate so now the original stud is just a little bit too short so I'll need to get a, a stud made up and get a knurled thumb nut made for it as well because I can't track down an original thumb nut which is irritating but I'll, I'll get one eventually but in the meantime I'll make a I'll make one myself or I don't have a knurling tool yet so I'll maybe um, get someone to make it for me I have had an attempt at straightening this but it's it's quite a springy bit of casting I think it's aluminium and my fear is if I try to bend it too far should just end up cracking or snapping so I'm just going to leave it well alone uh, yeah the I've had another attempt at um, adjusting the lead screw uh, she's running quite sweet nothing there that I can really maybe just a wee bit of tightness there I think there may be a very 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 slight bend in it um, I don't know if you'll see with the camera here, I'll try it to see. Um, see there? The little bit of you'll see a little bit of light over in this corner and if you watch it gets bigger and there we go look now I don't know if that's due to the threads or if it's due to have a slight twist in the lead screw which is going to have an impact on the wear on the half nuts So I don't know what I'll do about that yet. Um, I'm not worrying about it. I've got plenty of other things to worry about. Um, yeah. Um, getting close now I think. Another month and she should be all together. Just depends on how much time I spend up here. Um, but when she's finished she's going to be sweet. Some 
fibre washers here just will protect the paint or, or, and uh, also in at the back here the, the motor plate it's been fitted as well it's all been undercoated and enamelled and I've made a tracing of the the um, the holes in the plate so my intention being to um, cut a, a sort of anti-vibration mat out of this 3mm hard rubber um, so I'm going to get that maybe done today and that will then set between the plate and the motor when it's complete I've got the, the pulley guard here, it's all been painted up also it's only had its first coat at the moment yeah, I've missed a bit there but um, it's a little bit the finish is not bad but it's not perfect, there's a few bits of dust in it here and there, you know you can well you'll not see it with the camera but you'll certainly feel it with your fingertips so I'll give it a bit of rub down with some fine wire wool maybe, just a very light touch and then give it another coat um, what else? yeah I think that's it um, she's looking a lot better than she was when I purchased her it's taken uh, quite a few months now well although it's been three or four months I've not really been done three or four months of work to it it's just as and whenever I feel like doing it or get the chance to do it so yeah um, that's it cheerio for now